Okay, in this video we're going to talk about number four from the 2016 Calc AB exam, um, and it's the differential equation problem. So, uh, in part A, we know that dy dx is y squared over x minus 1, and we are going to make a slope field. So if you know me, you know that I hate making slope fields, um, but we have to do it. So, let's take a look and see what we can do. Uh, if y is equal to 0, then dy dx is always going to be 0, except at x equals 1 where it doesn't exist. So um, at the two points that I'm asked where y is equal to 0, I'm going to sketch in my lines. Okay. Uh, now I'm just going to pick points. So at 0, 1, if I plug into dy dx, I get negative 1. So what I'm going to do is um, at the point 0, 1, I'm going to aim at the point 1, 0 and kind of do that. At 0, 2, um, dy dx is going to be negative 4, which is insane. So I'm at the point 0, 2. And I'm kind of aiming at the point one half zero, which isn't shown, but um, that's what I'm kind of aiming at because that would give me a slope of negative four. Um, at two one, I get dy dx is positive one, so I'm again aiming. I'm at the point two one, aiming at the point one zero, which gives me that. And then at two two, I'm going to get negative uh, positive four rather. So I'm going to aim at the point like three half zero, I guess, which would give me the slope that I want. Uh, so there you go, and uh, as you can see, that is just a super useful slope field, which is uh, why I hate making them. It doesn't really tell us anything, except that uh, solutions uh, either go from 1 to something, or from negative something to 1, or something like that, uh, because they are supposed to be continuous. But anyway, uh, moving on to the next part, which is to write a tangent line and use it to approximate something. So... Uh, we still know dy dx is y squared over x minus 1, and we it's going to be relevant that f of 2 is 3. So we want the tangent line at 2. So I need to evaluate dy dx at the point 2, 3, which gives me uh, 9 over 1, which is 9. And so now I can write the tangent line. So this question so far is pretty easy, uh, or very straightforward, I guess I should say. I mean, I'm willing to say it's actually just easy. Uh, if you're studying for the AP exam and this is blowing your mind, there might be trouble. And then f of 2.1 is approximately 3 plus 9, 2.1 minus 2, um, which is 3.9. And there you go, that's all of part B. You don't even have to say if it's an over or under estimate. Done with that part. And then part C is, I guess you might be expecting, to find the particular solution. So we want the particular solution through 2, 3. So I've kind of color coded, so everything with a Y is in uh, purple, I think. Everything uh, with an X is in blue. So I'm going to separate. So these problems, if you don't separate, you always get zero points, basically. Um, so we separate. We get everything with a Y on one side, everything with an X on one side. Going to integrate both of those. Um, on the left, I'm treating it as Y to the negative 2. So plus 1 times the reciprocal gives me uh, negative Y to the negative 1. And then I always put plus C on the side with X. Equals, the integral of this is going to be the natural log of the absolute value of x minus 1 plus c. Um, I'm going to solve for c at this point because that natural log is never going away because it's on the x side. So I plug in and I get negative 1 third equals natural log of 1 plus c. Natural log 1 is 0. So I know c is negative 1 third. Uh, so if I move up here, so I have negative 1 over y is natural log of x minus 1 minus 1 third. I'm going to multiply through by a negative. So I'm showing like a ton of work. Um, but there's nothing wrong with that on the AP exam, right? Because you want all the points you can get. Then I'm going to flip it over. So I get 1 over uh, 1 third minus the natural log of the absolute value of x minus 1. Now, uh, the next part I'm going to do is like kind of challenging, and I don't really think it would be required, but technically the solution to a differential equation is a continuous function on an interval that contains the initial condition. The initial condition is 2, 3, which means that x should be 2. So again, I don't really think this would be required because it doesn't say find the domain, but you should always be thinking about this. Um, so the zeros, of the, there's actually two zeros of the denominator. I kind of like worked it all out because I don't really think this is required, but strictly speaking, um, it should be uh, only between 1 and 1 plus e to the 1 third. But I think that that's optional. I don't think you would need that here. Uh, it seems like if they want the domain, they actually say in the question and state the domain. And usually it's way easier to... Um, find than that particular domain. But anyway, that's the entirety of the question. I think you could have stopped before I started that talk about the domain. Um, very straightforward, should be probably nine points for you. So hope this was helpful and good luck.